hi in this video we will learn about liquidity trap so what is liquidity trap liquidity trap refers to a situation in which even when money supply is increased this increase in money supply does not result in any fall in interest rate so money supply is increased but interest rate is not decreasing in this case usually in normal circumstances when there is no liquidity trap what happens is whenever money supply is increased that is when there is a rightward shift in money supply the interest rate decreases or the interest rate falls as we can see in this diagram here so we have a downward sloping demand curve because there is an inverse relationship between uh, money and interest rate so as we can see in this graph on the x axis we have quantity of money and on y axis we have interest rate and money demand is a downward sloping so if money supply increases the interest rate falls as we can see there are two equilibrium points so in new equilibrium where money supply and money demand are same at that point we will have a lesser uh, interest rate if money supply is increased the money supply curve is straight line because this values are decided by the central bank so it is considered exogenous so coming back to liquidity trap so in normal circumstances when money supply is increased interest rate should fall why this is because when money supply is increased okay people have excess cash with them which they can spend or invest so people usually uh, buy bonds with that extra cash because bonds will give them interest and uh, holding cash will not give any extra interest to them so usually when they have excess cash they will buy bond so they can earn interest so in the uh, when they are uh, demanding more bonds the prices of bond increases and thus interest rate falls this is normal circumstances that money supply increases interest rate falls because people buy more bonds and price of bond increases because increase in demand of bonds and interest rate falls but in liquidity liquidity trap we don't have this case we don't have this fall in interest rate even though the money supply is increased so this is liquidity trap if you can see like this area of the demand curve this situation is liquidity trap even when money supply is increasing we we have same interest rate the level of interest rate is same uh, this red dot so according to keynes in this situation interest rates are too low like they are near to zero so when interest rate are like near to zero people will not be uh, be willing to buy bonds because they are earning no interest and since having liquid cash is way better than buying bond which give you no interest so they will hold cash at any amount of money supply so people believe that interest rate are too low in this case okay so they we believe that okay this will increase in future so they will buy bonds in future and for now they will not buy any bond or invest anywhere else so basically the crux is they will hold all the cash because holding cash is more beneficial in this case when interest rate is zero so in liquidity trap uh, interest rates are zero and people are holding all the cash uh does not matter what is the money supply so even if the money supply is increasing money supply is increasing the interest rate is not decreasing okay so money demand curve becomes parallel to x axis at this point okay so we can say since money demand curve as i said becomes parallel to x axis that is it becomes a horizontal line we can say that the interest elasticity of demand becomes infinite interest elasticity of demand is infinite in this case money demand is parallel to x axis in liquidity trap and also the lm curve 
uh, LM curve is horizontal just like uh, money demand LM curve is also horizontal so LM curve is basically a curve which shows the locus of all the points where money market is in equilibrium basically when we join these points of money market equilibrium where money supply and money demand are same we will get a LM curve this has been deriving the LM curve so since we will have all these horizontal points uh, in case of liquidity trap since money demand is parallel to x axis when we will join all these points we will get a horizontal uh, LM curve so under liquidity trap LM curve is horizontal or parallel to x axis so this was liquidity trap uh, it is a special case in which though there is an increase in money supply the interest rate does not fall I uh, hope you have understood this uh, phenomena of liquidity trap in case you have any issue or would like to ask any question you can ask in the comment box uh, please do subscribe to the channel thank you